Okay. So, um, World Open War is coming up, and today is Sunday, and I am scheduled to record with Russell Wright, the TO, about tables and potentially about lists later today, which of course is making me think about the meta here. What is happening? And uh, for me, I have to say that version 3 has massively shaken up the meta bold action. Um, no longer are darker tanks what I think is going to happen. Although a lot of people have tried to convince me that dark tanks are not dead and and I've, we've seen lists recently where some players have played around with darker tanks still. And yeah, maybe especially the German Panzer III is, is still an interesting proposition. Um, but I think that we are going to see a shift in tank usage. Um, I think the shift is going to be towards autocannons because for me, I think the changes to autocannons and especially how you place the templates has made the autocannon even better and it was already good but I think it's made them even better um, so I think that we're going to see a shift towards that in our tank meta and as regards to infantry I think we're also going to see a massive shift this time around um, yes I know World Open War is not a clean v3 uh, tournament at all it's it's changed up in in a lot of subtle ways um, but it is a transition tournament and a lot of the things that are happening with v3 and how that is affecting people's choices i think we'll see reflected in what happens at world open wall so my guess is we'll see very very few uh, assault focused lists. I think the assault builds are going to go away more or less completely. Um, they dominated the end of the V2, right? But I think they're going to go away. I think we're going to see a lot more. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more infantry units that are focused on ranged fire. So, infantry units that have access to LMGs. Um, and I think we're also going to see more veteran units, so like regular units with LMGs as backline holders, I think it's going to be a thing. Maybe even inexperienced units. Um, and I think we're going to see a lot of veterans armed with SMGs because these are going to be the guys that you throw up on an objective where they sit and try to survive the enemy incoming fire. So that's tanks and that's infantry. That's the, the changes I think, think we're going to see. Um, when it comes to support troops, I think we're going to see a lot of mortars. Um, and I think we're going to see two types of mortar usage. I think we're going to see cheapest chips, light mortar spam, which you saw that yesterday, right? I am running that. Um, or we're going to see people who take advantage of the new spotter rules where you have regular mortars, um, heavy maybe even, that, that use each other's spotters. Um, what is effective, we don't know yet, right? It's all theory crafting so far. We haven't seen anything in tournaments and in tournament play, but I think that's the way we're going to see mortars play out, those two types. Um, and I think some lists are going to lean heavily into this. Like my list is a good example of that, right? I have eight light mortars. That is heavy investment into light mortars. Um, and I think we're going to see other lists that does something similar. Will we see a lot of artillery platoons? That's a good question and I'm not sure. The changes to minimum ranges for howitzers may actually end up costing a little bit there. Um, 
and the recent changes to multi-rocket launches as well for World of War at least it uh, any multi-rocket launcher that is fired takes D3 pins plus one I think so that I think will encourage some people to stay away from the multi-rocket launchers which is good for me because MSU, lots of units. Uh, I don't want to clump up <laughs> against multi launchers, but you know, I have to. Um, so maybe we're going to see multi launchers, but I think the thing that we are going to see is we're going to see German armies that bring lots and lots of fixed auto cannons like uh, Flak, Flak, uh, Feeling, or whatever they're called, right? I think those are going to be there, um, because at World Open War, at least, you can decide your tables, which means that fixed cannons are actually a little bit better. And will that mean that we see anti-tank guns as well? Potentially, yes. Um, so that, I think, is also good, going to be something that I'm at, at least looking out for. Um, what I'm not expecting to see is a lot of barbecuing. I think the engineer platoon is going to be rarely used, and I think even more than that, the recce platoon is going to be very, very, very rare at World Open War. Um, but that's just my ideas. What do you guys expect from how the meta is shaking out right now? My expect expectations are all shaped around World Open War, of course. But what is it for you? Let me know in the comments. See you next time. Cheers.